No era amor, no era amor Eso fue lo que dijiste tú No era amor months I'm finally back on stage again don't ask me the reason anyways as you know we just crossed the 100k subs milestone well not just it's it's like two weeks already damn and for that I want to say a big thank you to all of you without you guys this would have been impossible now as you saw in the thumbnail today we're making a skull edit obviously a part three this time we're gonna do it on Filmora mobile of course Filmora also has a PC version the reason I chose Filmora over CapCut isn't because the both are similar, but the thing is, where CapCut focus on hunting your wallets, you need to have Pro to use almost every effect, while in Filmora you don't need any premium Pro tagged effects to make an edit, the standard effects are more than enough. Alright, we're in Filmora now. It looks pretty much like CapCut. I've uploaded both the clips and the audio. First step, mark the beats. Go to Beats, and here you can select Auto Beats or do it manually. I always prefer manual, so let's mark the beats. Done. Now the beat marking is done, let's reframe the clips and delete the ones we don't need. For info, this edit is in 4 and 5 ratio frame. Once after that, freeze the clips where you want the skull shake effect. Like this. Do the same thing again for the other parts. Now let's add animation. Go to animation, apply this animation to all freeze frames and make this value around 0.1 second. Time to add effects. Go to the video effects section. You'll see lots of effects, just like CapCut, and most of them are free. For now, search Extreme Shake and add it to the timeline. Then go to effects again and add direction blur. Next, search pulse shake 3 and apply it to the freeze frame.
for CC, color correction. Go to Filters, Mono Filters. Select Clear Contrast. Add it, then adjust it like me. You can also use an adjustment layer and tweak between colors accordingly. If you want, add a glow effect to make it look extra. If the glow feels too much, just go to adjustment layer and adjust the shadows, blacks, and whites. As you see, it looks perfect. Now for the last part, let's add the reaction overlay. Click on PIP and add the overlay and do like me. To add shadow, copy the image, go to adjust, and make it black. After that, go to Mask, select Circle, add Feather like this. As you can see, it's done. Now we can copy this effects and filters and paste it to the other freeze frames. Alright, I've added all the effects to the frame, so let's export it. You can enable optical glow if you want, but I'll keep it off since this isn't a slow-mo edit. Make sure to enable stabilize and then export. And as you can see, the edit looks insane. But here's the thing, 
Filmora isn't just about editing effects. They also have lots of AI integrations. For example, you can literally use Google VO3 inside Filmora. You've probably seen those AI-generated interviews or ASMR videos on social media. Yeah, you can make them here. Here you can see the template's prompts. All you do, just change the subject. It could be anything, or you can add reference image and place generate. Besides that, Filmora has tons of AI tools like auto cut, AI enhancement, voice cloning, text to speech, image to video, and more. While CapCut doesn't currently offer these convenient functions such as VO3, which allows you and me to speed up our content directly. You can try them out yourself, and that's it. I know like next video might come in two days or maybe two months, just kidding. Hope you enjoyed this edit and can make edit on Filmora. See you in the next video.